Okay, we are officially recording. So, uh, a pleasant day again to everybody. My name is Juni Torre of the academic team of IELTS Einstein. So, again, we have another interview today. Uh, you know, we, we need to interview people who score impressively in an exam. So, uh, when we found out that this person scored the band nine in the exam, so almost automatically I had to ask her, like, are you free for an interview on camera for our YouTube channel? So, thankfully, she said yes. So her name is Alvi. How do you spell that, uh, Bim? Uh, A L B I E. Yes, sir. That's right. A L B I E. Oh, all right. And then Karian. How do you spell that? C A R I dash A N. Oh, I didn't know that. I've been spelling it as one word all this time. Because I want it to be one word, but unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> there's okay. a dash. <laughs> there's a dash, and yeah. just a single R, right? Yeah, single R, sir. Yeah, I think I've been spelling it the double R. Like, I just messaged <laughs> the guy, right? Like, and then you call yourself Bim. Yes, it was my uh, it was my nickname. My okay. close friends and family also called me that. All right. So, give Bim. So, I would like to begin by uh, giving you a chance to introduce yourself. Who is Bim Karyan? <laughs> well, um, I grew up in... Negros Occidental, specifically in Cabancalan City. And um, I graduated and achieved my uh, BSN course in the University of St. LaSalle Bacolod. No and... wonder, guys, she's from LaSalle, right? She's from LaSalle. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's so my init. <laughs> so, sir. University of St. LaSalle in Bacolod. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I am the youngest in the family. I have four you, brothers and two sisters. Are you the only nurse in your among your siblings? Yes, among my siblings, I am the. I see. Okay. Bim, you know, I, uh, uh, so I was ready for interview, so I got my UK mug. UK mug, sir. <coughs> Hey, mag, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, mag. Mag, okay, yes. My UK mug. Mag. I almost spit the coffee out. Okay. Not the UK, not the UK bug, but the mag. UK mug. Yeah. See that? The UK mug. Yes, I saw. <laughs> that mug was actually given to me by one of the passers. Uh, oh, way back. Yeah, yeah. And then, Bim, uh, so you worked in Singapore for a while, correct? Yes, I worked there for almost five years. And um, I served there as a nursing aide. Um, but more or less three years, I worked in a nursing home. And for two years, I, I, I changed my job and transferred to a senior daycare under the NPUC Health. No hospital experience there? No, sir. Mm, okay. And it was in Singapore where you first took your IELTS, correct? No, sir. I, I was already mm. here when I took the first Oh, okay. Um, IELTS. So when Bim refers to here, she refers to none other than the Netherlands. She's right now in the Netherlands. <laughs> She's in Denmark, correct? No, sir. Is that different? I, no, Denmark is in a different country. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, specifically in Zutermeer, uh, no. but uh, Netherlands, the capital of Netherlands is Amsterdam. So. Okay, is that below Denmark? Beside, you in, gotta check. I yeah, did. You gotta check. <laughs> We gotta check our geography. Yes, I'm not that kind of <laughs> an expert in geography. Yeah. But, um, I know that these Nordic countries like Norway, Sweden, Finland are right on top, right? And then yes, Denmark is across the like I don't know what strait is that. And then many of their dance is also somewhere there. Sure, you are in the European mainland. Mm, yes, sir. Okay. And what's your temperature today? I'm so curious. Sorry, sir. I can't what's your know. what's your weather like? Uh, what do you have right now? Well, it's a kind of a gloomy day here. 
Mm. Actually, this morning it rained, but now it stopped, but still gloomy and quite cold. And uh, mm. Netherlands is a country that is known to be so cold. <laughs> I mean, and uh, every every time it's raining here, so yeah. Yeah, but it's supposed so, to be summer today, right? Yeah, supposed to be summer. So if you are a person that came from a tropical country, yeah, it's quite sad. <laughs> Sad and okay. depressing, but yeah. I see, sad and gloomy. So that's where you took your first IELTS. Yes, sir. But I took my first IELTS. I did that uh, by only me, me, myself, and I only. <laughs> I mm. did the self review, but. Um, oh, you did? Unfortunately. Where did, hmm? where did you get the material for listening and reading? From Charles Tip. Yes, sir. I asked him for a uh, reading materials and listening mm -hmm. materials. That, that that one actually uh, came from you, the IOT. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. yeah, okay. I did the... My okay naman, sir. Yeah, because... Okay naman, sir. Uh, like yung reading, di ako ganong nag-ano, nag-reading. Like I earned my... <laughs> yes, sir, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Micah, you, you just came out on YouTube. <laughs> That's okay, Micah. That adds okay. to the fun of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Charles Charleston is actually how do you call him? Charles. Kuya Charles. Kuya. Charles. Kuya Charles. Okay. Yeah. Charleston is also from Negros. Uh, so Char uh, BIM found out about me from Charleston, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Charleston actually scored impressively in LR, right? Like uh, she scored something like, he scored something like a 9 or an 8.5. I've yes. forgotten already, but no, no lower than 8.5. Really, mm -hmm. very impressive. So people from Negros, you guys, you're just, you're just so good in English. Why is that BIM? <laughs> Like I have students right now. Like uh, I have somebody from, uh, um, yeah, from Occidental. Some are south of Occidental. Uh, some are south of uh, uh, what's that? Dumaguete. Mm -hmm. Dumaguete is in Occidental, right? Oriental, sir. Dumaguete is Oriental. Ah, Dumaguete is Oriental. I should stop talking about geography. <laughs> I'm just embarrassing myself. It's okay. Yeah, sir. she's really good in English. And then, like, uh, there's somebody from Iloilo also really good. I mean, when I say good, they're really good. Like, they're the wide expanse of vocabulary. They're just throwing it out there. So, why is that, then? <laughs> I really don't know, sir. Because, <laughs> yeah, even myself also, I was surprised when I saw the score. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I really don't have a constant. I mean, I feel like I'm not confident enough or, you mm -hmm. know, about my English because I'm growing up in a place like. Um, it's not you know, like the, you were talking in English in school or what, whatever. It's yes, not like in Manila, you know, it's quite common to hear people talking in English in Manila. Is that the same in that island? Not so, sir. Hmm. Is this schooling? Actually, sorry, sir. Is this schooling from school? I think so. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I see. Because so, I remember the scene from Charleston. Like, wow, Charleston, you just got, got great language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Okay. And then, so you reviewed for the IELTS, self reviewed. So, yeah, it's time to be frank. No? So, what were the needed improvements in that first attempt? Oh well, um, I got a low score in re uh no writing and speaking. Mm -hmm. My my um my re my listening and reading both um were seven, and my writing was five point five only. <laughs> wow! Okay. And my speaking my speaking is six. So I I mean my <laughs> speaking was six. So I was kind of oh this is so depressing like. Mm, but I know oh I, did, mm -hmm. I knew I knew that I did not uh, do well because first and foremost I didn't have any training at all. <laughs> yeah. What was your suspicion on that? Why did you score that way? Sorry, why? Why did you why did you score that way? Any suspicions? 
because I didn't have any techniques, sir, regarding on writing and also speaking on how to construct uh, your sentence well. So mm -hmm. for, I think it is very important to, yeah, to have some method on how to approach some questions. And also in speaking, you have to make sure that um, the examiner can follow what you are saying and also at the same time can understand you and yeah. Yeah, okay. And then, so you decided to go for a review and that's when you contacted me. Yes, I said, okay. I, said mm -hmm. I said to Koya Charles, I really need help because I know I cannot do, do, do this myself, so by myself, so I really need somebody to uh, mentor me. And he recommended you to me. So I messaged you. I messaged yeah. you. And luckily, you yeah. accepted me. So yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's go into the, your second speaking test. So that was under me already, right? So yeah. yes, yeah. let's go through that. Like, uh, So she started off at six, guys. And then she went through the regimen and scored a 6.5, correct? Yeah, only the rest are, I mean, I passed all the, the rest, Um, only the speaking is 6.5, so only 0.5. Imagine yeah. that kind of um, frustration, yeah. you know, sir, only 0.5, then you can already pass that, you already passed the IELTS exam, so. <laughs> yeah, it's just a 0.5 level yeah. away, right? I see. And of course, we talked about it, and... Uh, I think we are in consensus, right? That the problem is really in comprehension. Yes, I because mm -hmm. the second time around, I was also very um, nervous, and you uh, know, my nerves are really uh, static, something like that. Okay. And then at the at the you know, um, there is this um, I have this tendency that if I get nervous, my um. Auditory perception is um, betraying me, <laughs> like it's shutting down automatically, you know, <laughs> like I cannot understand or I cannot hear the question uh, clearly, I cannot comprehend, so that's the, that's okay. the yeah, that's the downside, so. What, what I, was it that accounted for the nerves? Was it the examiner or it's just you? It's just me, sir. I think it's just all in my mind, you know, because I put the exam bigger than me, like. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I see. And also, I feel, I feel like at that moment I am not prepared, somehow, because I feel like I'm, my vocabulary are limited. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Let Let's jump into that big question that uh, you just couldn't make make out, right? Was this part three? Was this in the third part? Part three, part? sir. Okay, a part three question. <laughs> so up to now, we still cannot really make it out, right? It's like uh, the question was, um, like, um, are, I mean, are celebrities in your country? Uh, wait, sir. Our celebrities in your country should be the role model for the young children. Okay, something like that. Yeah. So you weren't really sure what it was. Yeah, so I think I did not answer it um, properly. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's also, yeah. I think it's okay. the point where I, I know that I can... Was that <laughs> early in the part three or towards the later? It's the last question, sir. It's the last question. Oh, <laughs> I the see. Question. Okay. So, you never thought of like clarifying that question? Like, could you no, repeat sir. that question? No, you just wanted to answer it. I just, yeah, I, I just dive in and answer <laughs> I see. Uh, in hindsight, do you think that we should have like clarified? Yes, sir. I should have. At you were scared of doing that. It could have saved me, you know, to another, to, to another <laughs> exam. <laughs> yeah. But before so, that, was there another vague one? Um, wait, sir. 
That's all I can remember, sir. But I think part one was there a big one in part one. I, I think um... this is like selective amnesia already, right? Being yes. to <laughs> because they asked she asked me about um social uh, media, so the influence of media in uh, in the Philippines. Mm. Somehow I answered it, but I I'm not satisfied also to the way I answered. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but to my answer. <clears throat> Did you refer to media or social media? Media, sir. Media. Mm, okay. Because I think I, I remember the first the one question was um what is I mean are celebrities are entitled also to have a privacy something like that. Mm. So I said well it that was a part three question part three part one sir. Ah, part one. Okay. I, Can you imagine that? Oh, sorry, part, part one. Ah, yeah, part three, sir. Sorry. Part three. Okay. Part three. Then I said it depends, right? Because um, celebrity, um, actually a public figure, and yeah, they accept the fact that they can be in the public eye all the time, but it depends uh, if they are in their homes, they are entitled to have at least privacy within themselves, you know, to do something. Yeah, like that. It sounded like a good answer. Wait, yeah. what was your part two question? In the second attempt, sir. Second attempt, yeah. <laughs> Selective <laughs> amnesia. <laughs> that could have been a factor as well, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, sir. I, the, the second question was, uh, no, who, um, who is the famous person in your country? Who is the famous person in your country that inspired you? Uh -huh. Okay. Then I, I said Miriam Defensor Santiago. She okay. was what's on my mind because um, the night before the exam, I actually ran through her profile. Somehow I said, okay, I can, I can talk about her. I, you know, mm. and somehow I think and I. And she also happens to be from Iloilo. Iloilo. Yeah, I see. So somehow yeah. I have, yeah. So somehow I have a knowledge about her, so I can talk about her. Something, you know. Yeah, uh, for foreign students, uh, Miriam Defensor Santiago is actually a former senator who passed away. Mm. Right. Yeah, uh, that girl would score a nine, right, with her. Like yes. her depth, the depth of her language, right? And her mm -hmm. intellect. Okay. And uh, all right, so we talked about it. You had it remarked, correct, Bill? I did, sir. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, I'm hoping that, yeah, I think I'm hoping that uh, my score would at least, um, would at least, um, get higher at least 0. 0.5. At least by 0. 0.5, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But sudden, uh, a bit unfortunately, the result. I mean, the result came in, and still the same, no We're changes. Still the same. Okay. So I, I accepted the fact that okay, I have to try yeah. it again. So yeah. yeah. Did so you what? Hmm? Available exam. Sir. Would you like take the next available exam? I guess, sir. Sorry. Did you take the next available exam? Um, yes, but I have, I have a lot of options where, when should I take it? Um, actually, I took my first two exam by read, read a paper base. And now I am um, said, um, maybe I have to try the computer based. <laughs> the next, oh, for the, the first time, time. the computer delivered. Yes, I kind of um, nervous about it because I am quite skeptical of my, you know, ability to do some, you know, typing in the computer. What if in the listening, I, I cannot follow. Okay. You know, How did you prepare for that, Bill? For the. For that computer delivered. Did you ask your fellow, uh, fellow? Did you ask your classmates about it? It's a lot mm -hmm. of them took computer delivered, right? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. Because all this time, sir, uh, since my first take, I actually using the computer when learning. Mm, okay. So I think for me, okay, I just have to hone my 
skills about it. I mean, you know, in doing the in the that the practice test on computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, yeah. So I the listening and reading I did it, yeah, on computer and then for the mm -hmm. writing, since I already finished the 20 essays <laughs> regiment yeah. from you. Yeah. I what I did was I I ran through mm -hmm. everything that you uh everything that you gave to me you gave back sir the feedback that you gave yeah so i ran through it all every day i think every single of it <laughs> i put okay. it in my mind <laughs> you know i try to understand <laughs> everything yeah so that's what i did and also you know last night i actually took a look back at some of the free essays and you had an entry you could have reminded about that right <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Actually, I thought the free essay was, you know, um, how to say that? It's just you just write and you will not be recorded. I mean, you will not be uh, graded or something like that. So, mm, so okay. that, that's the, the free essay that I made was only one. When after when you put me on live. <laughs> FB live. Oh, on FB live, right? Yeah. And then okay. that's the only part that I practice my writing, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So before we go into that third test, wait, wait, wait. Was one of the motivators for the computer delivered? Was it because you wanted the results right away? Yes, that's one of the factors. You didn't want to wait thirteen days again. Yes, sir. Waiting yeah, wanna, wanna, for wanna. the paper base is quite, you know. Um, it takes forever yeah. and also my anxiety for waiting is very yeah you know, can you imagine waiting waiting two weeks for that right yeah so yeah, how can you go on with your life with that <laughs> yeah. you know with all the uh, yeah so yeah. i said okay i will try this one maybe this is it i said maybe yeah. this is it already okay and i tried <laughs> Okay, so before we go into the third test, uh, you know, I have a piece of paper with me. I'm just writing down your vocabulary. So ran through, she ran through the essays, uh, hone my skills, that's a collocation, skeptical, of course. Public eye is a uh, idiom. Uh, she dove in, dived in. That's a collocation. Comprehend, of course, auditory perception, mentor, gloomy. Nice. Lots <laughs> of words. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to mention the others that you. It's just part of you, right? Uh, like you just have them, right? The what, sir? You just have these. You just have them from the get go. I cannot follow what this is. Am I being heard? Okay. Uh, you just had them already. <clears throat> you just had them all these years. That was <clears throat> was, the, was this from school? These kinds of vocabularies. Yes, sir. I think so, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the thing, yeah. sir, was, you know, sir, I really, like, I am very kind. I mean, I have this inferiority inferiority complex in me you know like I am mm. not confident because I feel like I'm always comparing myself to others especially those um, who studied in pres prestigious schools when they were in elementary or secondary school mm -hmm. and I I always um, thought that I am not good enough you know especially especially in speaking in English um, yeah um, yeah. In fact, that was one of the reasons why I was so confident about a remark. Like, yeah, I mean, you just have it. Why? Do, yeah, just go for that remark, and then it turned out to be the same, right? Yeah. yeah. But thankfully, you just went back at it and had another go, right? Yeah. Those are collocations. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you remind me a lot of Leon who just came in. <laughs> Leon is Leon scored at eight. So oh. this is how she talks. She just throws these, you know, heavy words. Right. <laughs> oh, she's back in again. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's now go into that life-changing 
third exam. You know, people are coming in. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going to admit them. Okay. All right. So when was this exam, Bim? Last August 7th. Uh, End of July. August 7th. No, last August 7th, 2000. Yeah. But okay. Now what day was that? It was Saturday, sir. Okay. And what time was your exam? Um, starting eight, uh, nine, nine a.m. until um twelve noon, twelve thirty for the until the writing, and then okay. my speaking test was scheduled at uh three forty, which is which is actually I so I am supposed to be the last candidate, and um luckily I was rescheduled, and mm -hmm. they put me at uh, three p.m. So. <laughs> so what did you do? After the 12 noon exams finished and 3 well, o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. I went outside, sir. I went outside and eat out, you know, and okay. enjoy. You mean in a restaurant? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I was actually with my boyfriend then. Um, oh, he was with you? Yes, he was with me. Good of And you, um, the difference that I made was... Uh, compared to the first two exams that I made was um, before I, I, after the uh, writing exam, I just uh, stayed in the facility, in the exam facility, mm -hmm. and, you know, eat, and, uh, eat my lunch there and eat my lunch there. But um, in the third attempt, I tried to, you know, loosen up. Go on, <laughs> loosen up, yeah. Loosen up, uh, get you some went out for a walk. Walk, yeah. I see. Walk. I see. Even though in my mind is still I'm still anxious and you know yeah. preoccupied with the test, but still I still have to you know release this. I mean, take this anxiety out of my system. Right. Yeah, but I think it's really critical that you had your boyfriend with you, correct? So at least you were talking to somebody all that yes, time. Right? Mm -hmm. Was he supportive? Like, was he doing the yes. IELTS on you? Yes, sir. Actually, the, for the for, uh, for the two exams, he um actually was the one who also um uh uh asking questions about part three, sir. <laughs> oh, he was. I I, I wow. asked him to th uh throw throw me a question from the IOT application. I mean the IOT website, and yeah. then I said I will I will I will try to generate some answer out of it. You know, and see if he can understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, you were doing this over lunch. Ah no, sir. For for the day of the exam, I didn't. Um, I didn't practice with him because yeah. Oh, I, I, but I thought he was with you. He was with me, but we are just talking, and then um, oh, eating. Just relax. Yeah, okay. and then but while eating, I am um, formulating questions in my mind and answering it by myself. <laughs> okay. Like, what are the possible questions that um, the examiner would throw me uh, during my, you know, during? Yeah. If I ever see. You use like, a lot of collocations for question, like formulating a question, generate a question, throw a question. <laughs> oh my God. All right. <laughs> Mm -mm. She said facility, and she said inferiority complex. All right. Okay. So here it goes. The speaking test. So you came in early, right? Like an hour early. Is that how it is in the Netherlands? You have to be there an hour early? Yes, sir. For registration okay. and, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. After they ask you if you'd like to go, if you'd like to go early. Like three what? three p.m. Ah, for that speaking, sir. Yeah. No, they are. They were the one who scheduled rescheduled me for three p.m. So I have to. Oh, be... you already knew it was three p.m. Yeah, they sent they sent me an an email. So um, mm -hmm. I have to be in the uh, I mean, I have to be in the center twenty minutes before, so they can mm -hmm. register my name again. Okay, you know that's so unfair. In the Philippines, they asked us to be there an hour before. Really? <laughs> okay, I guess that's because of all the traffic. 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're in the Netherlands. There's no such thing. So you, you better be here 20 minutes before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe, or that, or maybe because they know that Filipinos have the propensity to be late all the time. Yes. So you better be here early because there's no such thing as Filipino time. <laughs> okay. So they call on your name and you registered. Yes, sir. Actually, I I was only the I was the first one. I don't know if I was the first one, but I think um the invigilators are actually I were were actually um finishing up something like maybe from their lunch or what or snacks. Okay. Yeah, much. So when I registered, sir, I am the only one in the waiting room, and I felt like oh, and I waited for about. 10 minutes, I 15 minutes, I guess. I see. My time. Yeah, yeah, that was similar to my speaking test. Like, I could see that they were having snacks. Mm -mm. Yeah. And then, like, so in my head, I was like thinking, oh, that's a good thing because they just came from snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I had that interview, and it was that examiner who I did see getting coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she's my examiner. They are okay. So by the time I had my speaking test, like, oh, she just came from snacks. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this, there's fresh. a good thing about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's fresh. She's not tired or stressed or irritated yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sir. All right. So tell me about your examiner. Wait, wait, wait. So did you had uh, you uh, you were the only one in the venue? At the time, yeah, by that time, sir, because I think I, yeah, uh, because I arrived 20 minutes before, so mm, yeah, okay. Was, and then, uh, Bill, I'm so curious like, who are the people who take the exams in the Netherlands? Um, there were, uh, as what I have observed, I mean, there were Chinese, uh, mm. also, um, the local. Dutch people also, sir. Oh, really? Yes. And I don't know about the rest, but it's different, sir. I mean, different culture. So most likely they're going to be going to the UK for this. Maybe. Yeah. I see. How are the Dutch? Do they speak good English? Not really. Because mm. you've been living there, right? I think. Um, yes, sir, but not all the Dutch people can speak really uh, good English, uh, but um, I think their vocabulary is somehow limited compared to us. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I, I'm just, that, that, that's just that my speculation. About that. Yeah, but how do you go, uh, like, how do you get about your day? Like, of course, you got to talk to them. Right? Sorry, sir? Do they, are they conversational? Like when you buy uh, groceries, can you talk? Um, to them they speak more in Dutch, sir. Oh, you do. Okay. They, they, the, I mean them. So, um, but uh, others uh, can actually speak. Uh, I mean, can understand you, but the English when they responded is quite. Uh, just. <laughs> yeah, you see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Leon, I'm not sure if the conversation will pop out on video, so <laughs> let's just uh, let's just save the the chat for later. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it might come out. You know, we're gonna have to edit some of the, some of the comments, Leon. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> this Leon. Because I see the the conversations popping up, and I can't help but laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, you're crazy. Anyway, uh, you 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 you're gonna read their chat later. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, are these like medical professionals? Are they nurses? I really haven't got a chance to <laughs> mm. to talk to them, sir, because you know. Mm -hmm. um, and like, the yeah, for the computer delivered, how many were you in that pen? Like eight. I think we were 13 of us. Okay. Mm -mm, so mm. Quite a number. I mm. think that's the maximum they allow. Yes, right? that's the maximum. Even in the I paper base, I also we are we were also 13. Oh, okay. So, All right. 
So, here goes. They call your name. Yes, sir. Actually, my examiner, when I saw him, um, he's quite old, sir. And um, I think he was in, I mean, he's in... Mm, mm, really, no, more, maybe 65 years old, something like that. Oh, that old. Okay. I kind of old, but, male, and then, male, right? Male. male. And then I said, oh, he will, he will be my examiner. And then oh, what if he's a veteran, you know, if the older the, pe the person <laughs> is in the, in the institution. <laughs> There's no chance for Lee Mark. He might be a veteran already. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because uh, for the second take, we were talking about who the examiner was, right, Bim? Like, uh, your exam, the second take, right? We were, like, saying, was your examiner foreign? And then you said she was British, right? Yeah, she was British. So. Right. And so I was kind of, uh, we were kind of talking about it, like, you know, that can be a bad sign because she's British. <laughs> okay. But this guy, this examiner, was he British? No, I guess he's uh, Dutch, sir, Dutch. Mm, okay. Because, and then what... I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I heard him talking to the registrar in Dutch. So oh, his accent okay. also speaks. Yeah, a... I see. And was he welcoming? Um, yes, I mean, the, you know, the first impression that I got uh, to him was he's quite strict and serious, mm -hmm. serious. but the, mm -hmm. at the moment that when I sat down in the chair, you know what I did, sir? I did like this. Mm -hmm. I feel like I showed to him that I'm nervous, something like that. And you did. Yeah. Like, what did he say to that? Then he told me, you know, he said like this, like, he, oh, he sign language like relax like that, nothing oh, to worry. Okay. Then that, from that moment, I said, "Oh, he's not that, uh, not that bad. He's quite um, accommodating and you know understanding." Yeah. Okay. So okay. So that's a good tip, guys. <coughs> Go into your speaking test. <laughs> do like this. <laughs> and then do like this. <laughs> and then the examiner is gonna go. Okay, relax. relax. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> you show the examiner, yeah, like you're scared as hell. Like, I can't, I can't yes, breathe. I cannot breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna have a panic attack. Yes. <laughs> so the examiner now is gonna be forced to be more lenient on you. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, so this was before he would go into his script, yes. right? Yes, okay. All right. And, and so he uh, now goes into the script. Mm -mm. Like this is examiner number stop 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 like that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and okay. then um mm -hmm. what worries me that time was um the distance that we have with it, each oh, other oh yeah 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 I forgot to ask about that so this um, was not a video interview no sir um there's actually only a uh, plastic uh something like a board yeah. That uh, okay. separates both of us for, you know. <clears throat> Were you in like an office or was it like? In a room, office? sir. In a room. An it's office like room. A, a classroom. Like a classroom. Only, only us is in there, you know. Okay. We occupy the classroom. There's this table in between you and then there's this mm -hmm. uh, acrylic shield, right? Acrylic, yeah. Ac yeah like okay. Were then, you asked to remove your mask? Yes. No. I mean, he... Told mm -hmm. me if I'm comfortable to uh to take care of, then I can. Then if I'm not, then I can just leave it. Okay. There. But I Did chose to. Take off? But I mm -hmm. chose to take it off because um mm -hmm. I, so I can breathe <laughs> properly. Yeah. Because um the more you are anxious, you know, so it's, you got difficulty breathing, right? So yeah, you're gonna breathe uh, in your your carbon dioxide instead of your yeah. oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I said. For yeah. my convenience and comfort, I have to take it off. So. Mm, you said that. No, I just said okay. I don't <laughs> okay, all right. And then, um, actually, the difference. Uh, I mean, this the third attempt, sir. This third time, the the table between us was quite long. 
So, so the challenge, so you were the on challenge, one end of the table, he was on the other end of the table. Yeah, the challenge for me was I had to talk loudly mm-hmm. <laughs> and clearly. Right. Yeah. And also um, for the fact that he is, you know, quite old and, you know, maybe some... I'm afraid he will have some hearing impairment okay. or what. <laughs> so I have to make sure my voice is uh, loud and clear. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Okay. Wait, what about the second exam? Uh, oh, was it the same? No, sir. The, but we were, we were in a small room and the acrylic shield, in, I mean, the distance between us, the examiner is not that far. Only not like that, that far. It's just a normal mm. table with an acrylic. Oh, okay. I far. see. All right. So okay. Yeah. So you had to speak up, right? Like, can you hear me from where you are? <laughs> <laughs> Is this good enough to have to be have to yes. shout louder? <laughs> I had to really I had to sir because the first question when the, he threw me a first question, he really cannot uh, hear me the, the last. Uh, words that I say uh, that I said. Oh, okay. said I said. Okay, I have to make. Okay. I to. Yeah. I have to, yeah. <laughs> you know, sure Bim. Can... I don't know if you're aware. In the Philippines, we don't not we don't we not only have to wear masks, but we have to wear face shields. So you go to a bank, <sighs> and then like, uh, ma'am, I'd like to inquire about uh, blah 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 blah, and then she's gonna go. Uh, could you say that again, sir? Uh, I'd like to inquire about, sir, pakilakas. And then, before you know it, you're already shouting. And then I kind of say to the teller, oh, you know, this is the world we live in right now. You've got to shout already, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, really, so, sir? Yeah, because you have the face shield and then you have your mask. So, oh, this is the world we live in. I was t- telling her in Tagalog. Mm-hmm. And this is the world we live in right now. we got to shout at each other already because we can't even hear each other, you know. Stuff like that. Okay, so what was yeah difficult? And it's hard to, it's kind of suffocating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's hot. And yeah. as you know, it's always hot. <laughs> yes, All right. I can't imagine. Lear <laughs> keeps commenting. All right, so what was the first question? Part one. I actually... Wait, sir, I can... All right, this is nice. She wrote it down. She wrote it down. I wrote it down, sir. I, I will try to uh, remember it as far as I can. Sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, the first question was, do you work or study? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I said, um, I did work, but currently I am unemployed. Um, well, I I was in my... I am... I was... I mean, I practiced my profession for already 10 years, um, not until last December 2020 when I had to resign at work and um, de- um, decided to leave here with my boyfriend. Oh, okay. So then he didn't, he didn't, he did not hear my last, uh, you know, my mm. last answer. Then I had to repeat it. So last, <laughs> <the> last <laughs> yeah. What I what I just said is <laughs> what I said. Yes. What I <laughs> well ah um well last December they didn't make that. Then I repeat again. <laughs> okay. Wait. Where was the where was the MP3 the recorder? It was in was between. It? Um. Did you notice him, that? Sir. Near him. I mean, I'm near just him. Him. Oh, okay. Just near him. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Oh, I, need to, I need to make sure that the recorder, I mean, that the recorder yeah. can, uh, you know. What's the reason for all this if we don't have it recording? <laughs> we need this for the remark. <laughs> yes. Okay. And also for him, you know, to understand me. So I have to. What was the term he used? Like, he might have some hearing impairment. <laughs> That's just my. <laughs> what a That's nice term. Bad. Okay. Very clinical. <laughs> All right. What was the second question? Oh, the second question was back when you were working, how often do you see your friend? Okay. That was a past tense question, Lynn. Yes, sir. And then I said, mm. well, I rarely, uh, I rarely see my, I mean, I rarely socialize with my friend back 
when I was working in Singapore, um, you know, as a nurse, we, as a nurse, I really had, I really had a very demanding job before. Um, so, um, as much as possible, I, I, I mean, I, as much as possible, I, I tend to focus my uh, self at work. But I tried my, I tried my best to, to catch up with my friends and see them twice a week. Okay, this is true, Bim. Yes, sir. It was it was kind of demanding at work in Singapore. Yes, sir. I yes, it was. It's really true. Mm -hmm. I okay. have to the extent that I have to. I mean, my life was kind of a routine. On you know, like only work, get up, get up, eat breakfast. Go to work, go back to you know sleep, then wow. repeat the trip, something like that. I see. All right. How much? How long did you work? Was it like twelve hour shift? Just like the people um, in Saudi? Yes, sir. Like twelve hours. Mm -mm. Like wow. Yeah, nearly twelve hours. So because um, yeah, you know that is officially the greatest enemy of mm -hmm. IELTS students. Their work. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, That's if we could just. Murder that work. There you go. Mm -hmm. That is the perpetual a struggle <laughs> of students mm -mm, uh, yes, balancing their work mm -hmm. in their IELTS. Yeah, okay. What a nice answer. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You yes, already sir. said, I rarely socialize instead of saying, I rarely see. Yes. You said socialize. Mm -hmm. And then you said it was a demanding job. That's a collocation. Mm -hmm. And then I don't get to catch up with friends. That's a collocation. Just for one question. Yes. <laughs> you said, I am currently unemployed. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a collocation. Uh, instead of saying now, you say currently. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yes, what are sir. you doing currently? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, currently I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> <laughs> let's, stop, yes. let's stop using now. Like I'm gonna use currently, not now. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you do you have money currently? <laughs> <laughs> you have okay. Yeah. All yes. right. And then the third question was, um, when do people wear special clothes? Oh, suddenly shift the clothing. Yes. <laughs> was okay. it different question? <laughs> oh, that's that's a that's a curveball. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, and then I, I think I responded like, um, well, there are a gamut of uh, occasions where people um, wear um, special clothing, like for example during Halloween, and at the same time during Christmas season. Wherein people love to wear, wherein people love to wear um, Santa Claus costumes, something like that. Okay. <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That word gamut. Did you have that? Did you ready that word? A gamut of occasions. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Did you already have that word before, or during my practice, just... sir? During my practice during in the, the during the drill, sir. And during also... the drilling. Mm -mm. Okay. Because as much as possible, I tried to um, uh, every day. I I made sure that I uh, you know the Merriam Webster sir the application. I made oh, sure yeah. that I knew I know one word each day. Okay. And make sure not only um not only to know it but also to use it every day. I mean, mm -hmm. practice to use it or incorporate it in a sentence. And during the that's drill, a Miriam Webster application. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Okay. So I make right. sure that I incorporate it uh, during the. So drill. you really love Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ever since. That. Even your thesaurus is named Miriam. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see. And also, I wrote down some words like, sir, like sample, very good. Um, what are mm -hmm. the other terms for very good? So I put it in a paper, actually. So yeah, can can we have that, guys? Get your paper. Oh, look at that! That's a lot of words. Can you read that <laughs> yes, out? 
<laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. like, for example, sir, very good. Uh, the other terms are commendable, notable, wow. exemptional, congenial, agreeable, noble, transcendent, sublime, gnarly, and benevolent. <laughs> Oh my God. Can we like go to the first four? Commendable, exceptional, Commend what else? Yeah, commendable, notable, exceptional, notable. congenial. Congenial. Agreeable. Okay. So I go into the speaking test and I say, <laughs> you know, the food there, it's really commendable, exceptional. Yes. It's it's congenial. It's I mean I'm gonna score a nine already. I just threw three heavy words for very good. <laughs> what was the other one? Congenial, commendable, exceptional, notable. Yeah, there. Yes. Yeah, and the food here is notable and really commendable and exceptional. Yeah. And, <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Benevolent. I'm not going to... Benevolent. I'm not going to say very good anymore in my life. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. like... You, I, like, how do you I, find the food? Like, it's commendable. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel exceptional? <laughs> I'm not gonna use very good anymore. Yeah, that's the end of my very good days. Like I learned that in grade school. I mean, I gotta move on with my life. <laughs> yes, that's correct. I mean, that was like 30 years ago. So <laughs> okay, yes, sir. Uh, do you like the movie? Exceptional, notable. <laughs> <laughs> Notable. <laughs> okay. Yes, All right. Sir. That's what I did. So. And yeah, I keep interrupting you. I love this. No, I'm, okay. I'm just like, this is really exceptional. All right. So, <laughs> in the end, yeah, fourth question already. And fourth question. <laughs> We're going to digest that. We're going to break down that speaking test. We're gonna like uh, we're gonna like dissect it uh, question by question. All right. So um, the next question is that did you wear any special clothes when you were a child? Past tense okay. again. Another past tense question. Yeah. Okay. And then I said, as far as I can vividly remember, um, when I was in primary school, um, um, I think, I mean, sorry, sorry. When I was in primary school, I had to wear this Filipiniana, which is a national costume of the Philippines. And every every month of July, we had to wear it, you know. Okay. And I ended something like that. What, what was it about July? I think the Linggo ng Wika, sir, I want to say. Okay. <laughs> but you I, know, I forgot that already. <laughs> yes, okay. so I just had to, yeah. Like that. So you say you said as far as I can vividly remember. Mm -mm. Back when okay. I was in primary school, yeah, I had to wear this Filipiniana, which is the <laughs> national costume of the Philippines. Um, okay, so I'm never gonna say as far as I can remember anymore. I'm gonna add that adverb as far as I can vividly remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From now until the day that I die, I'm not gonna say as far as I can as, as far as I can vividly remember. Okay, question number six. <laughs> number six is um, uh, when was the last time you wear special clothes? Mm -hmm. And I said another past tense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. So exactly. I keep um, throwing the past tenses, huh? Yeah. yeah. And I said, yeah. well, I well, it was. December, last December 2020, 2020 when uh, I was still working where uh, our company actually arranged a um, company dinner wherein all the employees are uh, were required to to wear a 70s costume outfit, something. This was in Singapore? Yes, sir. That's How did you do that? Bim? 70s costume. I mean, these are like flare pants and like you know, very, very long collars. Yes, it sir. Was I, wild. Uh, it was mm -hmm. a wild decade. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, Afro hairstyle. How did mm -hmm. you do that? How did you find 70s clothing? I searched online, sir. <laughs> I see oh, what, uh, yeah, and then and search for what are the trends during that uh, year. So, yeah. I, did, you or, 
you ordered it online? Yes. Okay. And I went to one of the, uh, I cannot say, maybe the one of the cheapest uh, stores in Singapore. Oh, you did. It's the Boogies, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, okay. We went there and I see. Yeah. Was this a Christmas party? Yes, sir. It's an annual annual dinner for the employees mm. to get together. Okay, where was this held? In the what you know, the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Oh, you <laughs> did you book the hotel? You booked a room? No, the company, sir, itself. The company oh my was God. it's a, a function hall, sir, wherein we have yeah. gathered together and you know, right um, to eat some scrumptious food and some oh my do God. some presentation and do some dancing. that's another word for very good, like scrumptious. Yeah, oh, yeah. how's the food? Oh, it's scrumptious. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah, exceptional. It's commendable. You know, it's <laughs> continual. <laughs> Notable. <laughs> did you book that hotel? I mean, no, did sir. you book a room? Ah, uh, no, sir. It's very. It's quite. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite really hefty. Quite expensive, really sir. Really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But did you like I... go up to that surfboard on top? Actually, we did, sir. Actually, we did. Um, mm -hmm. the company. What the company did was they gave us a free pass, uh, for all mm -hmm. the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not the whole, you know, the like not, not the whole the boat surfboard. Ship, but, yeah. <laughs> but only at the mm -hmm. tip of it, you know, at the corner. I see. Wherein you can see um the wide range of uh, right the, the landscape of Singapore, which is very I nice. I see. Okay. Wow. What an experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and it's also free, so <laughs> grab it. Yeah. yeah, there's like a yeah. pool on top of that, right? Yes, sir. But it's all um actually exclusive for those um who booked for the hotel, like you know, staying in the hotel. Yeah. But okay. Was there any more part one question? I, I there's an answer. <laughs> I forgot. Was it about clothing as well? Okay, yes, sir. Like, I think when you said when when do you people wear special costume or what? I forgot, sir. Mm, okay. I forgot the right. real the real the question, but I said um, it depends because people uh actually uh I, it depends people wear special costumes like you know um uh. Depends on the occasion. Like, uh, for example, if um, it is uh, if, if the if the I mean, wait, wait. I forgot the one. <laughs> like the people have to wear uh, if the people have to wear casual attire, something like this, sir. I said. Mm, okay. I but I forgot. <laughs> no, it's okay. But uh, how are you feeling at this point? Like. You were already answering around five, six questions. Were you more or less settled? Yes, sir. I feel like you were. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> okay, you're I mean, bringing it on. I feel I, I'm trying to uh, relax and you know relax and also uh, make sure that I understand his question. You know what? What? Yeah, sir, yeah, yeah. That I was mean, the thing, right? You know what, you gotta sir? Gotta understand the question. Yeah. Mm -mm. You know what, sir? I really. How many times I asked him, you know, because the way he speak is also sometimes quite slow. I mean, um, mm -hmm. soft. Where I had a difficulty to uh, catch up or understand some mm. of his last words. What I did was I really asked him. I really, yeah, sir, yeah, yeah. sorry, I, sir, sorry, I really can't. I did not catch the last words he said. Can you okay. please repeat that one? And Very then. Nice. Understandably, uh, he, he was so answer, understanding, so he keep on repeating it. Because okay. I said... Um, yeah, because that um, was our problem during the second exam, right? Yes, like, we sir. couldn't... We weren't even sure what question was that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were consciously trying to avoid that mistake. Huh? Yes, sir. Like, um, no matter mm -hmm. what, I have to understand... I had to understand his question, and at the same time, I had to give a, an exact answer because what if mm. i just um i i don't want to to uh, to say it to assume that i understand but right 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 yeah 
because very you know, nice. Yeah. That will be your downfall, you know, like that will be your Yeah, you know the tip yeah. that kind of applies to all the tests. It applies in the reading test. Do not assume you gotta read the question really well. Don't mm -hmm. preempt the question with your assumptions, right? Mm -hmm. It happens in the writing test. Like you gotta read every word carefully. What is this question asking for? And then suddenly all your assumptions come into play and then you give an entirely different response, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Good tip. Good mm -hmm. tip. Yes. You were careful with that. Yes, sir. I said no matter how many times I asked him, <laughs> as, yeah, long yeah. as, I, as long as as long as Yeah, I, and it, I guess it was understandable at this point because you are so far from each other, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Mm, it was not time for part two. Okay. <laughs> My part two was... <laughs> Please don't let it be a past tense part two. <laughs> oh, no, sir. It wasn't. Part two, describe a city or town you want to live in the future. future. Oh, okay. Yeah, future question. Yes, future. <laughs> yes, I'm going to London. <laughs> so, I said, yes, future. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. um, <laughs> but I had a difficulty, sir, because oh, the first city that came into my mind was London. You know, because yeah, yeah, course, London yeah. is the place what I want that I want to work and live in the yeah, future. Yeah. So yeah. I said, mm. and then okay, I put London in the paper. And then, you know, sir, that, that three question, you know, the guide question, the three mm -hmm. question. The three bullets, yeah. Uh, the three bullets. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, then I tried to, to write something about it. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, um, wait, Bin. How did he hand the paper to you? Uh, it's, um, it's covered with... I mean, it's inside the plastic, sir. It's covered you already with had it in the table. Yeah, it, it's in the table already. Okay. He didn't have to walk over to give it to you. No. Okay. Uh, it, oh, smart. Actually, the, the paper after one minute he take uh, he took it off. He took it. He took the paper from, you. Of, from me. And then mm -hmm. yeah, so I start talking. Okay. What did and you write in the paper? London. So initially you were you wrote London and then and then, um, actually, the, the three bullets were, were, what is the name of the city? How do you know about this city? And what is the famous about this place? Okay. And then I re it. realized, mm -hmm. oh, what, what, should, what should I say about London? Oh, my God. I, I'm panicking already. I said, oh, never mind. It's future, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I said, um, uh, well, um. One of the, I mean, uh, there is this, there is there is a particular place that I want to live in in, in the near uh, in the near future, and it is in mm -hmm. London. Well, I have known this place since I was a kid. Um, what intrigued me about this um, city will, is um, sorry. Go ahead. Then. Go ahead. <laughs> I, Go ahead. What yeah. intrigued me about this city is the is the is the I said wait sorry I forgot is the the salary or compensation it it could offer to the to the people yeah. to the employer and mm -hmm. also and then when when I keep on talking I said oh shit not Two minutes is not yet over. I have to keep on, uh, and you know, talking. And I said, mm -hmm. "Well, um, in fact, I have uh, read. Uh, I have a family and friends in there, uh, which currently working, and you know, at the same time living in the city. And uh, as what I have heard, um, um, the city is quite exquisite, and you know." Stunning in a sense that uh, it has a lot of beautiful landscapes, and uh, and also uh, what uh, what my friends said was where was like I mean one of my friends said that um the life in there is 
quite commendable in a sense that um, London offers a good work-life balance uh, to the people. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exceptional. Yes, and then <laughs> yes, and then, sir, you know what? Uh, there's, I think, I still have seconds more. You know what mm -hmm. he did, sir? He he showed me the paper. Like I have the the last oh, wow. the last bullet. The oh last my bullet, god! Sir. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. have to answer this. So I oh so then I from that moment I said oh I really had to to answer all the bullets. You I know. See. So I said yeah. oh. And then after that, then that time, I said, I really don't know if Buckingham Palace is in London. I don't know. So I said, um, honestly, I really, I'm really not familiar of the of the popular uh, areas in London. But uh, in the near future, I really want to explore the place with my friends and enjoy um, some uh, strolling around with them. You know, it's uh, it out in restaurants and you know, and also. Um, as what I have seen in um in movies or in in the web in the internet, um old buildings there are ubiquitous. <laughs> so like that. <laughs> okay, you have to put that word in, right? Yes, ubiquitous. You be you be ubiquitous. Okay, all right. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I really have to put that in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then. I said, oh shit, what did I did well? I don't know. Because I thought I don't know, sorry if he likes it, but I said I should have said any other city, you know, but never yeah. mind. I said it's already done. So that was the time uh he stopped you already. Yes, sir. That he followed he gave me a follow-up question, like you really you really want to live in London? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <Okay. laughs> yes, sir. I really loved it. I am really fascinated with the place, and I really want to 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 reside to reside in the city. Actually, it's it's, it's my long term plan, but um, but for now, I'm still achieving my short term plan, which is to find work. <laughs> okay. Like yeah. All right. Uh guys. Could you go on mute first, guys? Just like uh, there's a distracting noise. Okay. I'd like to ask you about the place you stay in. Like, uh, where do you stay again? Here, sir, in Netherlands. Yeah. Where? What city do you stay in? I am in Zotermeer, sir. Zotermeer. Okay. And how is it there? Like, how would you describe that city? Um, well, it's not quite highly urbanized compared to the Amsterdam. Um, oh, okay. I, I somehow I kind of like it here because it's not that uh, uh, it's quite clean, cleaner than than Amsterdam, and also um, there actually there are quite a lot of shops nearby where I can go you know stroll around and try myself and also i think that's all sir okay how are the people there the people there are quite accommodating and polite they are uh, yeah even yes, towards sir. immigrants Foreigners. they are very quite polite sir because you know um they have they cannot do some discriminations are here because it's really oh. Um, it's really they have a they have penalty for that and punishable. Oh my God! Okay. Yeah, could you just I go on I want first? To... I... Yeah. Okay. Somebody's noisy. Shout how to mute people. <laughs> okay. There. I I, I remember, oh. sir. In part two, I I actually have. Uh, Added like um well I like London because the people there are are very polite and discrimination is a no no I said like, <laughs> I see it's, it's a, a no, no 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 he actually accepted it. <laughs> yeah that's know. that's really nice yeah and I said it's a no no I yeah 
Mm-hmm. It's another call occasion. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so the Netherlands, there's no backlash against. What about okay. Asians in particular? You mentioned Chinese, right? Is there some sort of backlash against Asians there? No, no sir. No, sir. Okay. They're very um, conscious and, yeah. Yeah, They're okay. Very conscious and polite and, yeah. All right. So, let's now go into part three. <laughs> part three. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions, sir, ha? Huh? Because actually... Oh, you had a lot. Yeah. Yes, sir, because he, every time I answer, after I answer, he he keep interrupting me and give me another question. Okay, I see. And the, well, oh. the first one is why some people say that cities are not healthy to live in. <laughs> okay. And then I said, I, I surmise that um, some people uh, or some individual believe that you know, uh, urban areas are unhealthy to live in, uh, uh, unhealthy to to reside in because um, the fact that uh, there is a uh, pollution, um, there is a pollution that uh, it is evident that, that, that nowadays that it is getting worse and worse, and 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 aside from that. Um, um, I mean, aside from that, um, the pollution that the people, uh, the pollution are the is detrimental to the people's health, like you know, air pollution, water pollution, <laughs> and okay. noise pollution, and also stress. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. And then okay. he, he asked me, so why do people migrate to city despite? Yeah, the- that w- I would have asked that question next, yeah. right? You know, why do then, people cram into cities when all of these are evident in cities, right? How did you answer that? I said, well, <laughs> um, I reckon that uh, that the people flocked in the city for the fact that um, there, uh, for the fact that there is a good job opportunities in there, and um, apart from this, uh. The, the comfort and the convenience that the city can offer. Uh, like for example, malls, cinemas for entertainment and mm-hmm. uh, transportation as well. <laughs> Something nice. like that, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, <coughs> that's what I said to him. Right. Yes, sir. And I mean, yeah, like that's what I said. Okay. Gosh, it's then, all about cities, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he said, what people can do to lessen the problem? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said, well, I believe the, the people, uh, what the people can do to alleviate the, the issues wow. or problems um, uh, is, you know, to, to, uh, to consume products that are organic for the fact that for the fact that it is free of pesticides or insecticides and also the people can actually um i said moreover the people can um i mean the people should do uh recycling and proper waste disposal mm-hmm. which is very good for the environment <laughs> so yeah, like, correct and i stopped that sir i, I stopped there sir i'm just writing down her words guys <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then he said, Do you believe that people in the cities are unhealthy? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> How would I know that? Shut up, like, sir. <laughs> then I said, <laughs> I said, <Let's> Well, <laughs> I. Shut <laughs> up. You don't make the mistake of saying shut up. Shut up. She's going to like, look at you with a puzzled look. <laughs> What's that word? <laughs> okay. <Charot. laughs> it's an expression. <laughs> so then what did you say? They, they said, um, I said, they don't they believe it. Well, I said, uh, from my standpoint, it depends uh, to the people if they are going to engage themselves in uh, doing uh, daily exercise or eating healthy food. 
Okay. They like that. Engage themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. That's what I said. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, continue, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Well, uh, that's a lot of questions. Okay. Yes, because yes, he keep on after I because after I said that uh for physical activity, physical exercise, he he throw me another one. Okay. Like he said, okay, some cities nowadays are getting the same. Do you agree? Or what? He said some say, some say cities nowadays are getting the same. Do you agree? Getting the same. Getting the same, like you know, in terms of and and then I said, well, um, I am a person that have been to uh, different uh, cities. And for me, uh, they are not, uh, I mean, they are not the same for the fact that uh, um, they are, okay, wait, sorry. they are, how did I answer this? <laughs> for the fact, um, they You're differ referring to in, exercise, they differ, right? <laughs> they differ in um in building structures and at the same time infrastructures. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I do believe that each <coughs> cities has its mm -hmm. own um beauty to offer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um in Singapore, like how do you get exercise? Yeah, yeah, I'm I imagine you have an abundance of parks, right? Mm -hmm. In Singapore, you do. I am a person that it's not uh, very. Uh, I don't like uh, doing uh, physical exercise outdoors, sir. I more I, mm -hmm. I kind of more like it in in indoor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I stay in Makati, in one of those residential areas, and if I want to go for exercise, I'm gonna be walking along residential areas, right? <clears throat> I mean, the where's the park? I mean, I want to go to a park, you know, stuff like that. Like, I imagine if people want to walk their dogs, right? Mm -hmm. You I don't mean, have where do I do that? In your place? Not in my place. I, I imagine in some areas, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. But like, maybe if I, were, if I were living in BGC, like, I would get a lot of that. There's a lot of open spaces mm -hmm. in BGC. And I see a lot of people walking their dogs. But here we don't have it. Like, I mean, you're gonna put in life, put your life in danger going to strange corners, you know, <laughs> turning down dark alleys, and then ending up wherever just to get an <laughs> exercise. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so yeah. I end up, I end up going to the same routes all the time. Yeah. Um, and then exposed to all that, you know, pollution and. All that noise and everything, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay. But the thing in Singapore, sir, is you have no choice but to walk because um, they make sure that uh, the, all the bus stops are really quite far from each other. Oh, how nice. So, so yeah. if you're, you're living in a place like far from the bus stop, so you don't have a choice but to walk. I so see. I think that's one of the way to you know to to uh to encourage the people to at least right yeah some get some mobility right like mm -hmm. get those muscles working um like uh you have walkways right mm -mm. yeah I heard that you're quite famous for the walkways mm -hmm. like elevated walkways. Uh, not elevated, but the you know the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Like uh, also they mm -hmm. provide wide some, sidewalks. Yeah, mm -hmm. they also provide some overhead point, the pass overhead. I see, like overpasses. Yeah. Overpass, yeah. yeah. I see. Okay, all right. Let's move on. <laughs> what else? What else are the part three questions? City problems, guys. Yeah, yes, can sir, ask that a lot. Yeah, urbanization. Yeah. I that we are in the last question already, sir. Yeah. He said some people say that countryside is becoming unhealthy. Why is that? Oh, okay. I'm not aware of that. Yeah. How and did you, said, how did you answer that? Um. 
Actually, I said, um, well, for the fact that uh, city nowadays are overcrowding, uh, okay. and also there are no place uh, for the for inhabitants for the I think wait sir, para may kulang. I I think there's some <laughs> mm -hmm. for the question. Um, I said um because um. You didn't struggle with that question, Bill, because that's kind of new to me, that question. I, sir, I think <coughs> rural sir, areas becoming that some more people unhealthy. say that countryside mm -hmm. is becoming unhealthy because of farming, something like that, sir, the question. The question. Mm, okay. Then I answered because um, I said, um, well, the fact that the city nowadays are becoming, I mean, are... Um, are overcrowding and for the fact that there are no place um, or land for uh, uh, available for agriculture or farming so mm -hmm. um, most of most of uh, most of this uh, farming are actually uh, in happened in the countryside mm -hmm. so so um, the fact that farming nowadays uh, are Practicing unhealthy, yeah, you know, unhealthy something. I forget what I said. Something unhealthy Maybe like you know, spraying pesticide and insecticide. Yeah, and yeah. For me, that is my that is my standpoint for, for that question, and it is up to the the government's initiative and action on how to make farming healthy. <laughs> that's what I have. That's okay. how I ended, sir. I see. In the end, that was the last question? Yes, sir. Okay. And what could you read from him uh, uh, during part three? Did you, like, could you read him? Like, could you could you tell that you were doing well? Yes, sir. I think uh, in the part two, when I, actually, I forgot to tell in part two also that, um, you know, when I said um, that London, right? I said mm -hmm. one of, uh, actually, my cousin, I mean, my friend told me that, even though it would cost an arm and a leg for you to live in an <laughs> wow. apartment, yeah. it is worth it because of the work-life balance, something like that. I see. And yeah. From that moment, sir, I saw his face like, oh, he lightened up wow. and then he smiled yeah. at me. And then from then on, wow. maybe that's I a plus see. point for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least she was giving you some signals that you were really doing well right mm -mm. I, but only in the part three sir said i said well he keep on he didn't want me to finish you know like i want to add some more yeah, yeah. <laughs> data you know about yeah. because there's a lot of uh, ideas in my mind right. um from your lecture actually sir that's yeah. what we have to. and then he keep throwing me into you know, okay then i will answer you <laughs> yeah yeah that happens quite a lot nowadays right mm -hmm. yeah I mean, we're trained to answer two to three sentences, and then all of a sudden, I can't get even a sentence. <laughs> hey, I just finished one sentence. I got a god two sentences. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then I said, oh. Okay, yeah, get used to that. That happens quite a lot nowadays. <clears throat> and then, how did it end? Then he said, okay, thank you so much. That is the end of your speaking question. I will be the one to open the door for you. <laughs> like that. Oh, he said that. Yes. Oh, my God. You're not even allowed to touch the door now. No, sir. No. Oh, wow. No. Okay. He opened it for me. Then I said, thank you so much. And I go. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. How did you feel at that point? So you were exiting the venue on your way home. I'm sure you were like looking back on your performance. How did you feel? I felt like I did good, but um, I'm so I'm so doubtful about um, if he likes my part too, sir. Because I felt like I felt like I I did not show any. I mean, I did not justify what London is, something mm. like that. Yeah. Then uh, even when going home, like. When I was in the train, I was I looked so depressed. <laughs> I almost should, I should have said so, I should have said something like this. 
I should have this car. Amsterdam. I should have this car. My city. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then my my boyfriend said, "Hey, move on. You cannot do it. I mean, yeah, it's already done. Do it. it's, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> you just wait for the result. <laughs> yeah, that's a normal reaction, right? It happens to all of us, right? Mm-hmm, like, uh, in fact, like when you finish an essay, like I should have written this and I should have written yes. this. <laughs> I should have said this. <laughs> That's what you call the benefit of hindsight. Like if you look back on it, <laughs> you have the benefit of looking back on it. But when you're in the moment, you do not have that benefit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I even then, I even told mm-hmm. my boyfriend that I I could have done better. You know, I said I could have done better in part two. <laughs> you're thinking about the part two. You're yes, worried sir. about the part two. But in at least, three, yeah. Mm. What were you saying? Go ahead, Bill. I mean, in the part three, I think I answered him directly mm. also, sir. Yeah. Um, that's what um, my learning, uh, what, that's what I learned also, sir. Because um, for me, in part three, you have to make an argument, right? That you have right. to, for me, I what I, technique, can I say it here? Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Like what yeah. I, the technique I did was um when he throw a question, you you, you say your opinion. Mm-hmm. Next is the reason and then cite an example. Okay. All right. But you gotta make sure the question you understood the question, right? Yes. I mean that was the big thing in the second mm-hmm. exam, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. said <laughs> I had to make sure, yeah, sir, that I... Okay. There was no part three question that was confusing for you. I, there's one question, sir, that I forgot yeah. what he delivered, it, but uh, he, he asked me, like, like I have, like, a something statistics, I think, which, which do you know the... The statistic of pe- if people in the city are more healthy or something like that, sir. Mm, okay. Then I said, I really don't have a profound knowledge about the definite number, something like that. I said like that, sir. <laughs> um, I really don't have a profound knowledge about the definite number regarding to that question, but um, I do believe that 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 that's something. <laughs> and then I start to speculate. Sir. I forgot what I answered, but uh... you started speculating. Yeah. Okay. That was a tough question. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because by my experience, if examinees are doing really well, they would tend to throw you a tough one. Yeah, like something like uh like an yeah. uh question, like uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a tough one. I mean, what was the? It happened to Maine as well, right? Like uh, her band eight performance. Like, uh, you know, that's a million dollar question. That's what she said. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very nice. Well, very nice how she mm, dealt with very that. Good. Yeah. You gotta give me a few seconds to think this over because that's a million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sir. Okay, mm. Bim. So mm. you went through the grind. You survived. You scored mm-hmm. perfect in speaking. <laughs> you scored higher than I did, right? <laughs> Do you know what I scored? You're good, sir. You're very good at me, sir. <laughs> did, I, did I tell? I, I think I told you what I scored, right? I don't want to say it, but you know. Yes, okay. you did. Say. All right. Okay. Uh, so you scored higher than I did. And... Uh, what do you now recommend to these students who are going to the rigors <laughs> of this well, I, speaking review? Yeah. You know, sir, I myself was also quite surprised of what I did or my or, you know, my score because I I only aim for seven. <laughs> yeah. But, like you are now officially the student who had the highest improvement in scores from 6.5 to a 9. Yes, sir. <laughs> like when I saw your, normally when I see messages pop up, like I delayed the response for a bit. Like when I saw your scores, like I had to call you like, Bill, what's this? I, I scored used, a 9. I even, you know, sir, what I did when I, 
when the result came out, I actually, you know, I scanned it like slowly, like, okay, listening first, then reading, <laughs> then writing, because the speaking is very important. I said, yeah, 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 that was the part lie. where I have to really um, take note of it. Then I said, I said, oh, there's like, you know, the shape <laughs> of like, oh my oh, God. Wow, and wow, I said, yeah. <laughs> okay. There was, no, right. there was no, there was no sharp corner. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Then I even oh tried, yeah. I even blink my eye. What if it's just upside down, you know? What if yeah, it's six? Yeah, upside down. <laughs> it's six. Was it a six? <laughs> well, it was no. an inverted six. Okay. Okay. So what tip. Oh, the yeah. tip, sir, is um, mm -hmm. I actually say it. I actually said, put it down. <laughs> yeah. Like, especially after you blundered the second test. What, what kind of uh, mindset? I did you go through to like allow you to recover at such a exceptional, notable? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, sir, Never. what I did because it's six point five, right? I said uh, a little bit more. I mean, a little push, then I can also already pass this exam. So I mm, see. I said more. I mm. had to make sure that I take the next exam sooner or like sooner the better. Mm -hmm. So I booked it two weeks mm -hmm. after the result. I said okay. I cannot wait for a month, you know. To... I see. You wanted to book it right away. To book it right away. Then I said I just focus on the weakness that I have. Like speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah that's an important thing, right? You knew exactly what was wrong, right? Mm -mm. So yeah. I said I will just uh, allot a lesser time to other category, but I have mm -hmm. to make sure that I... I am going to improve in speaking. Yeah. So what I did was I, I every day, as what I have mentioned a while ago, every day I made sure I knew a new, new word from um, Miriam, Miriam Webster. Yeah, you did. And okay. also um, idioms. I, I I studied idioms and collocations on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I make sure that I know the meaning of it, so I can also, I yeah. mean, you can exa I can exactly uh, put it in a sentence. Important. Like it costs an arm and a leg. Living yes. in London <laughs> would cost an arm and a leg. Yeah, yeah so like yeah. I have to make sure it's the right collocation, you know. Mm -hmm. And also, um, the second sir is drill, 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 drill. <laughs> Walang kama yeah. drill every day, and also Wait. um. Did you have speaking partners? I, I know you I did. did. Right? Mm -hmm. Shalom was my speaking buddy. Yeah, sh Shalom, yeah. Shalom She's about to take her exam like next week. Next week, sir. And yeah. So, you know what and we Shalom do? has really good vocabulary as well. Mm. She cares yes, for a line. I learned a yeah, lot from her. Yeah, let's get her to score that well. Yeah. I learned a lot from her, sir. Very, it's really helpful. Um, As much as possible, you can find a speaking body and what we did sir actually shalom and i um you know in part one right it's more on personal mm -hmm. more on you um so we focus more on part three which is uh we had to make mm -hmm. sure we are we make an argument we okay. make sure that we make an argument and also incorporate some conjunction you know um like nice yeah you know like the apart from this Oh, besides, moreover, something right. like that, sir. And also, the we try to... markers, yeah. Mm -hmm. We try to also, sir, identify the question if it is a crossover, <laughs> a crossover, yeah. a two-way question, or a single question, so at least... Right, right, know. yeah. So yeah. Well, that's what Shalom and I did. Um, you, were, you were training your detection skills. Yes, that's sir. important, right? I see. So at least, Where like, you, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. in part three, whatever question, you can make an argument, right? Okay, right. so many questions, yeah. I can agree with that. I see. Uh, did you ever join any of the bubbles? I actually, no, sir, because I don't know. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, but when you had that Facebook Live, how, like I wasn't even aware that you scheduled for the exam. Yes, because sir, I, I just saw to... you. I just saw you pop up, and then I said, "Ah, we're gonna do BIM on Facebook Live." Mm -hmm. uh, how many days was that before your exam? 
Wait, sir. Like a number of days. Yes, sir. A number of days, sir. I, I think... see. So you wanted to join it and you wanted to go live to challenge yourself. Yes, sir. To challenge myself because I, I am the person, sir, that is very, I mean, conscious when I'm speaking it in front of the people. I see. Stage, All right. right, sir. And, yeah. And, no, I cannot. I don't know. I have even in college, sir. I really, I hate recitation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like but you I did really know. well in that Facebook Live performance. So what's that confidence building? Sorry, sir. That, that was confidence building because you did really well in that performance. Thank you, sir. But yes, I tried. I want to, yeah, I want to um, challenge myself, you know, in speaking mm -hmm. also. And at the same time, you can correct me, whatever mm -hmm. things that I have to improve within myself. And, right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bim, what about your past tenses? How did you get to address that? Because that was a problem at first, right? Yes, it was our it was my problem, sir. I just keep on dealing yeah. with um shalom. shalom, sir. Because you know the things are if you Yeah, don't we gotta watch out for her past tenses as well. Tell Shalom about that, right? Yeah. It, mm -hmm. Yes, sir, because the thing, sir, it, you don't you will not know your mistakes if you don't let other people hear you. you right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we keep on throwing some, um, what are the errors? So we keep on, I mean, remembering it and try to improve the next uh, okay. practice. And yeah. yeah. How did you get to meet Shalom through the bubble, through the workshops? Workshops, sir. <laughs> okay. Who contacted and... who first? I think she, 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 she said. She was the one. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah. then, and then. Just like said, Shalom okay. had a speaking partner who was Kenneth, but Kenneth had passed. So mm -hmm. I think she was looking for somebody else to practice mm -hmm. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I said, okay, go. We mm -hmm. do speaking, yeah, every day. Yeah, everything. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So was Shalom aware that you are about to take your third attempt? Yes, sir, but she don't know the date. <laughs> I said secret ah, okay. because I don't want to feel pressured, sir. It's only me who knows, who knows okay. the date. Yeah. And then fact, sir, what I actually, I want to schedule, I mean, for the paper base, right? Because I'm confident about it. But I said, um, there's available in the 7th. And I checked mm -hmm. my uh, Chinese Sojak uh, calendar, the lucky number. <laughs> okay. And my, oh. the year of... The year of the horse is lucky at seven number. So, okay, seven, I booked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. That's another speaking piece. Let's talk about superstitions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I, I did. I see. <laughs> In fact, I just talked to Shalom earlier. And then mm -hmm. I told her, like, Shalom, you gotta join the bubble later tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, yes, I told her also. You gotta end this already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And okay, any more tips, Bim? Go, go, go. Very yes, valuable tips from well, band nine speaker. And uh, make sure you know that the, the links that Sir Juni provided during the written uh, feedback. Feedbacks. Actually, All it's not on, it's not help, it's not only helpful for the written exam, but also for the speaking, because uh, you can can get some ideas and um increase your awareness about the environment in there so you can yeah. make a good argument out of it and it's very good so really i'm so thankful <laughs> and grateful yeah, for that yeah. mm -mm. <coughs> i heard the tip from Maine as well <coughs> Mainra. Mm -hmm. like she was saying that uh you gotta go out into the exam as that was really a great tip like you are a person who is educated about the ways of the world because you care. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a nice yes, thing to sir. say. Mm -hmm. Like It's not just all about the IELTS. You're a global citizen. you got to make these changes. Right. Very nice. Yeah. Read those links. Yeah. Read mm -hmm. those links. Yeah. We have to, yeah. We have to be aware and sensitive to the things that is happening around us, especially in the future. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot in there, sir, in the links that you... <laughs> there's a lot, right? A lot. Actually, yeah, it, yeah I know it's quite a lot. And uh, how to say it, it's 
a lot to read, you know, but it's really uh, very helpful. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to fall for anything anymore because you're so educated and aware, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, you go out into the world, you know how it works, and then if people throw you some sort of uh, crazy idea, you know what, you know how to react to that, right? Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> like people who say that, uh, you know, these vaccines, they're not uh, real. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah you go be an anti-vaxxer i'm gonna go get that vaccine because i'm educated you know <laughs> okay yes, yes. Any and, more, um, mm -hmm. and you know uh know your weakness uh especially in speaking what if a nice know, tip what yeah, a nice if tip you know yeah. um if you know that your vocabulary is not that wide, you have to make sure you work it out. And um, at the same time, some, yeah, the collocations of idioms also is a very uh, important uh, part of the test that I guess is, yeah, that would really uh, boost, the, boost our score, sir. Yeah, if you have past its problems, get mm -hmm. rid of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get rid of those past its problems, I see. Yes. Okay. And also, um, don't put some don't put some limitations in your mind. Um, the limitations are only in our mind, actually. But um, in fact, we can do more and better. And um, right. what a yeah. nice tip! Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't box yourself um, in, right? We have to be confident. Uh, I know. Um, Sitting in the exam, um, being uh, nervous is is uh, is uh, is natural, is normal. But the thing is, don't let your nerves overpower you. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I know the test is tough, but um, just think that you are more tough. I mean, that you are tough too. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. No? Don't box yourself in. Step out of the box, right? Mm -hmm. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, no, like uh, this is what you need to compete, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, and I know you're going everyone... out into this world with all of these educated people. You gotta stand up amongst them, right? Very nice. Yeah. And I know everyone, sir, is really um commendable. <laughs> it's really they have it in. You have it in you. You just only mm -hmm. have to um, to showcase it or to let it out and show the world or the examiner mm -hmm. that you are, you know, um, that you can do better. Because I yeah. I know that English is our is the part of our life since we were in in primary school and kindergarten. Only that uh, we just have to uh, find uh, some. Synonym, synonym, synonyms. Right. For the yeah. Word. Yeah. yeah. And like, <clears throat> if you learn the collocation, if you learn the idiom, use it for the rest of your lives. Yes, yeah. sir. That's it's not just for the IELTS. Like, this is how you're going to be speaking. Yeah. <clears throat> and when you learn, you don't have only to, you don't have, you don't store it only in your mind, but you have to speak it up. I mean, Oh, that's a good Practice one. Practice it, yeah. answer. Like for example, um, like the word, uh, uh, you know, like the at, uh, like the word attenuate. I said, okay, I have to make sure that oh, this yeah. day I have to keep on saying what the attenuate is. Like you know, um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. What I did the to vaccine will you know. attenuate the effects. Yeah, of the so it's really helpful, sir. You know, like um, yeah. if you practice it, you will remember it surely. Yeah. That's what I did because before the exam, I mean, I, f I really feel inferior, like, you know, ah, I, I, my vocabulary is limited. I don't know what to do, how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do this, something like but you that. work on this. Yes, sir. Work on this. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, look, I have two full pages <laughs> off. Okay, <laughs> let's read through the rest. Because, like, a while ago, I just read through like a quarter of it. So, uh, accommodating, that's a good word for your kind, right? Yeah, convenience and comfort. You appear to use these two in conjunction, right? Convenience and comfort, 
Yes. And a hearing impairment, really nice. Instead of uh, he cannot hear very well, I think he has a hearing impairment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we already mentioned currently in replacement for now. Uh, like, see my friends, he says socialized with my friends. Um, as far as I can vividly remember, we already talked about that. Mm-hmm. Scrumptious. Ooh, every time, next time I'm going to eat a meal, I'm going to remember that. <laughs> scrumptious. <laughs> I'm going to use it until the day I die. Like, I really want a scrumptious meal. Yeah. And then I didn't catch the last question. That was a nice way of clarifying, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, Leon would say something like, Leon, bandit, could you run that by me again? That's a really nice thing to say. Could you run that by me again? I didn't catch the last question. There, yeah, all right. Uh, all right. Mm, uh, you, you don't use live, like live in cities. You say reside. And you don't use cities. You use urban. Nice. Yeah. You don't say countryside. You say rural. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, to lessen, you say alleviate, alleviate. right? Or attenuate is something you can use for that, right? Yes, sir. yeah, it's an attenuated response. Yeah, uh, you don't say trash, you say waste, and you don't say trash ma- management, you say waste disposal, uh, exercise. Engage themselves in physical exercise. What a collocation. And then, what's this? Overcrowding. And then, take the initiative. Yeah. Government should take the initiative. A profound knowledge. Woo! <laughs> like, I really don't have a profound knowledge on this matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Profound. So next time I use knowledge, I'm going to use profound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're always going to go together. That's a collocation. And then incorporate rhetorical markers. Okay. Showcase. Attenuate. You talk like Miriam Defensor Santiago. Beam, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thank really you, valuable sir. tips. And uh, this is going to go into history. For the sake of all the new students, let's score more of those nines. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't leave yet, Bim. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye to all the viewers and thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned a lot. And these are the successful think. students who exceeded all expectations. They rose above adversity and triumph against the odds. Write those down. <laughs> thank you, Bim Karian. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank future you so much. thank you mm-hmm. all right so that's it everybody uh don't forget to click like and subscribe and uh don't forget uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell until for the until the next interview is a lot more coming and how do i hit this okay all right i got it okay thanks bye everybody thank you. bye-bye beam hold on hold on okay